Emacs is an awesome text editor, but it can be pretty difficult to get up and running with it when you're just getting started. So I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get running with Emacs starting from scratch, starting from installation to moving around in Emacs and basically just getting work done. We're going to split it up into several parts and several videos, but this first video will be enough to get you up and running and actually getting work done. So the first thing we'll want to do is go to, uh, well, you can just type in Emacs in any web browser and you should be led to gnu.org slash Emacs. And then you can choose which one to uh, use to install. So if you're on Windows, you basically just have to grab a mirror and download it. And you'll want to make sure you grab the newest version, which is currently 25.2. So you'll just grab the zip file and download that and then double click on the installer and run that with Windows and that's how you'll install that. And if you're on Linux, you can use your package manager. Most distributions have a package manager, so it's apt to get install Linux or Emacs or Emerge or Yum install Emacs or whatever. And on a Mac, you can use Brew or you can use Mac ports. I highly recommend uh, using Homebrew. It just seems like uh, everybody recommends Homebrew as the package manager for um, Mac. So we can do brew install Emacs hyphen hyphen with hyphen Cocoa. So if you do not have hyphen hyphen with Cocoa, then when you run Emacs, it's going to open up inside of your terminal. So with Cocoa allows you to have its own separate GUI, which is nice. So I like that. So I'm going to brew install Emacs with Coca because I'm on my Mac right now. And I'll see you in a sec. Once you have Emacs installed, the next thing you have to do is just open it. You can either double click on the icon or type Emacs in the terminal. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, and so once you have it open, I highly recommend, if this is your first time, then read through and experiment with the Emacs tutorial. It'll show you a whole bunch of stuff on how to use Emacs. And I'm going to show you some other things that I really wish I would have known. And basically, it a lot of it involves Dired. And Dired is the way that you move around and do stuff in your file system. And basically, to get into Dired, you press Control x d and that will open up this little mini buffer and it will tell you which directory you can enter into. So by default it's going to, well, uh, right now it's going to give us the home directory. So if we press enter, we get the home directory. So you can see all of the files and folders in our home directory. And if you want to move up and down the file system, you can. You just select the folder or file that you want to go into or view. So we'll view our two dots, which takes us down our directory. And then, so now we're in our users directory, and we can press the two dots again to get into our root directory. And then we can climb back up the file system by going into our users, our main user, and then we can find our desktop if we want to. And our desktop is down here, and we'll press enter to get into our desktop. The next thing we'll talk about is adding and removing directories. So we're in our desktop right now, and if we want to add a folder onto the desktop, all we have to do is, well, from the desktop, we can, or from the desktop folder in Dired, we can do Shift and the equal sign, uh, or plus, just, so just tap the plus key, and that will allow us to create a directory. So it would be Shift equals plus, and it'll allow us to create a directory inside of the desktop. So let's go ahead and create a um, test emacs directory enter and now we've got this test emacs directory well, let's say we want to create something that's not in the desktop we have two options we can either go out of that directory and create it where we want or even from from anywhere in the file system we, we can create a um a directory so let's go ahead and do that again so let's uh, hit the plus key and let's make the folder, uh, we'll call it 
you know, another test. So again, this is inside of our home directory this time. So we'll put enter, and then let's go see if it's there. Two dots, and there it is, another test, the one that we just created. So I'm gonna delete that. Actually, gotta do that in a sec. And so we'll go back into our desktop and our test Emacs directory. And so now that we're in our test Emacs, let's go ahead and create a couple files. So to create a file, you do control X, control F. So CX and then let go and then CF or control F, I'm sorry. And that will allow us to create a file. So we'll create one called cats.txt. And let's go ahead and add some content. And then to save, once you're done editing that file, you can save it with control X, control S. And that will save the file. And then we can go back to Dyard, control X, D. Oops. Okay, control X, D. And it, you'll see that it's not there. So to update Dyard to see the, the new changes, we can press G, and then now we'll see our cats folder. We can go into it and edit it and save it and etc. So that's basically how you create a file. Let's go ahead and create another one. CX, CF, I'm sorry, control X, control F, and dogs.txt. And we'll just say dog.txt. And then CX, CS to save that. And then go back to Dyard. And now we've got two uh, files. Again, we can create another directory, etc. So that's how we do that. And if you want to delete files, you can delete them with the D. So you basically just put your cursor over the things you want to delete, and you can press D. And then, so we see it's highlighted red. And let's say we want to delete all three of these. We just press D on all of them, and then you press X to delete all of the files. So and then it'll ask you if you'll confirm. So you can say yes, and boom, they're gone. And if you try to delete something that has, like if you delete a folder that has contents inside of it, it will ask if you want to recursively delete, if you want to delete the stuff inside of the file or the folder. Um, so you'll either choose yes or no. It's basically just a security check, I guess, or to make sure you don't destroy anything. But that's basically how you delete, uh, delete files and folders. If you want to rename files, that is also very easy to do in Emacs. So I accidentally deleted before I should have before I renamed. So uh, cats.txt. Oh, no longer. Okay. Anyway, let's just go ahead and save this and cxcfdogs.txt. It looks like it remembered. So anyway, let's go back to D. Okay, so now we've got our files. And if we want to rename them, let's go ahead and do that. All you have to do to rename a file is hover your cursor over the thing you want to rename, and press Shift R, and that will rename the file. And so you can also rename uh, and change the directory as well. But I'm just gonna rename it right now. So we'll rename cats to kitten.txt. Okay, and let's rename dogs, again, shift R to puppies.txt. Okay, and there we go. So that's how you rename. Super duper easy. And let's go ahead and try to rename or move these files as well. So we've got we're in our uh, desktop slash test Emacs directory. So let's move these down one into the desktop. So we can do that by marking these files and then moving them. So to do that, you do, you, you um, hover your cursor over the one you want to select, type M and then M again. So we'll do both of these and then shift R to move. And so we're gonna move these out of the test Emacs directory. So we'll move them to the desktop and press enter. 
and they're gone. So let's go ahead and check out what's in um, the desktop and you can see kitten.txt and puppies.txt. But you can see they're still starred or selected or whatever. And if you want to undo that, you just hover over the one you want to undo and press U. And then press U on that one. And that's basically how you move it. So let's go ahead and rename and move at the same time kitten.txt to uh, the test Emacs. So we'll type uh, Shift R and then we'll move it to test Emacs. Oh yeah, there's also autocomplete, which is super nice. So we'll move it to test Emacs and we'll rename it to cats.txt. Okay, and it's gone. And let's do that to puppies as well. Shift R and then test Emacs and dog.txt. There we go. Let's check out our test Emacs directory and hit G and they're back. So that's how you do that. And renaming and moving files works exactly the same with files as it does directories. So it's exactly the same. So let's go ahead and search, learn how to search. So if you look at my uh, home directory, it's got just way too many files in it. So it's a pain in the butt to sift through. So there's two options that we can do. We can do CXD and we can just type search, uh, type what we're looking for. So like desktop, uh, so you can type DE and then tab and it'll auto complete for you. And then boom, we're into the desktop. Another thing that you can do is type in CS, control S, and that will open up this iSearch thing and it will allow you to search. So let's say we're searching for our applications. We can do APP and boom, we can get into our applications directory or our desktop. And so that's basically, you can just use control S to search through Dired and that helps. So we can just type in enter and boom, now we're again in our desktop. So that is super helpful. And something that may be confusing about search is let's say I have desktop and then I try to search again, it says it's failing. And that's because it has something to do with um, if the cursor is like below that result, it won't find it. So you'll want to go backwards with your search as well. So um, if you want to go backwards, you do control R and that will search backwards. So let's see here, uh, let's do, let's just search for E, I guess. So we'll do, C, control S, E, right? And then to find the next instance, you do, to, uh, you can basically press and hold control and then press S. Just press and S as many times as you need and you'll go through the instances of whatever you're searching for. And eventually you may run out of, in, uh, of results and it'll say, it might say it failed. So then you can do R to search backwards. So while you're still holding control, you just press R. So I'm holding control and I'm pressing R, I'm going backwards, I'm pressing S and going forward. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to modify the search, you just type in your other results or the other things that you're looking for. So ES, CS, S, 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 and you're searching forward. So that's a search. And the awesome thing about this is it works the same as it does inside of a file. So I've got these, uh, this blender.txt file, right? So again, let's search for E, control S, E, and it'll take me to all the instances of E. And so it works in your file and Dired as well. So that's searching. And then there's one more thing here that so you've got a lot of commands that you're, hotkeys that you're typing. So like CX, CS to save, but let's say I accidentally uh, hit some random thing that doesn't work. You'll experience that where you'll um, 
where it won't recognize the command. If you want to exit or quit whatever command you're trying to type, like CX, CS, and you want to just start over from scratch, press Control G, and that will quit and allow you to not quit Emacs, but it'll quit the command that you've typed, and it'll allow you to start over. So if I accidentally hit a typo in trying to save the file, you can just type CG, and that will allow you to um, run CXCS or whatever command that you need to run. So I hope that makes sense. And that's basically an introduction to Dyard. There's a lot more to it, but this should get you started with Dyard enough to be able to move around and work with it and actually get work done. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I hope this was super helpful. Uh, go ahead and check out my website, truthseekers.io, and check out all of the stuff that we have on there. I'm trying to build a community of programmers and technology enthusiasts. So check out what we have, see if you can uh, solve some of our programming challenges and uh, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, check it out. Have a good day.